Welcome back to Shop Talk. Today I'm going to be working on one of my favorite pieces of kit. That's my Yuko Candle Lantern. Not too long ago I stumbled upon a Reddit post asking about a Yuko Candle Lantern oil insert. I looked it up, and much to my surprise, it's actually something Yuko sold at one point. Unfortunately, they're not made any longer. So I turned to YouTube and found some people that have figured out how to make it on their own. I figured I'd give it a go and take you all along with me. So stay tuned. So the tricky bit is finding a metal canister that will fit inside the lantern. I looked everywhere. The only thing I could find were these air nail or fuel cells. That's $17 for a two pack. A little more than I was looking to spend, but man, they fit perfectly. With the canister problem solved, I got to work on modifying the fuel cell to work in the lantern. The first thing I needed to do was carefully empty the pressurized fuel from the canister. The next step was to remove the nozzle and the inner workings of the fuel cell. This was much easier said than done. I started with a small drill bit, carefully letting the remaining pressure escape. I then drilled progressively bigger holes, working my way up to the required opening of one half inch. Inside the fuel cell, was the bottom portion of the air nozzle and a foil bladder. I couldn't find a way to get the air nozzle out, so I used a screw to push it off to the side. I then grabbed a large drill bit and used that to snag the bladder and yank it out. I then removed the remaining plastic from the top of the canister. To hold the wick, I used a coax coupler. I used quick steel to attach the coupler to the top of the canister. With the quick steel in place and slightly hardened, I carefully unscrewed the coupler, leaving the nut implanted in the quick steel. Next, I heated up the coupler and removed the plastic insert. I now had a way to detach the wick and add fuel. I cleaned up the canister with some sandpaper and the oil insert was complete. For fuel, I decided to use clean heat. The scale and jug only cost me $12. I then filled up the oil insert halfway with 30 milliliters of kerosene. For a wick, I used part of an old cotton shirt and pulled it through the wick holder. Then, it was finally time to reassemble the lantern and test it out. Getting the wick to the correct height required some trial and error. If the flame gets too large, it starts to produce soot and gets the lantern all dirty. I found that I got the best flame when I placed the wick level with the top of the holder. I then placed the lantern outside to see how long it would run. However, it was a windy day and the flame from the oil insert 
seems to be more sensitive to the wind. After it blew out twice, I moved it inside for the remainder of the test. With the lantern inside my fireplace, I was able to get 8 hours of light out of the 30 milliliters of fuel I added. That's an impressive 16 hours of light with a topped off lamp. So, is the oil insert better than a candle? Well, yes and no. Let's go over the pros and cons. So for the pros, you can achieve longer run times with the oil insert. It'll also save you money in the long run. A gallon of kerosene cost me $12, and that would take 112 Yuko candles to equal the run time I can get off a gallon of kerosene. That's a savings of about $130. There's also some space savings to be had. The small flask holds 150 milliliters of fuel, which equals four and a half Yuko candles. Now for the cons. The oil insert with fuel is heavier. The Yuko candle weighs about 1.7 ounces, and the oil insert topped off with fuel is about 3.1 ounces. You'll also need to empty the insert for storage, which can be a hassle. The flame from the insert seems to be a little more sensitive to the wind, and it blew out a few times during testing. Lastly, adjusting the wick can be a bit finicky will cover the lamp in soot if the flame gets too big. My verdict is, if you're looking to save some money, making an oil insert might be a good option for you. However, if you're looking to keep things simple, then sticking with the candle will definitely be your best option. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.